Look at my curls. I'm not even trying and the curls are just like forming. Beautiful. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a very quick video for you guys. As you guys can see, the setup is um, kind of off. It's super late at night and I just wanted to do a video and put it up for you guys. Something that could possibly help those who just want like a super quick night routine um, for their hair. So you guys have been asking me and coming at me in the comment section on some of my videos um, saying that you miss when I used to give you guys tutorials and um, show you guys what I do for my hair growth. Um, so, oh, I hope I'm not like cut off in the camera. Like I said, it's super late at night. So um, my setup is kind of like thrown together right now. So kind of ignore that. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram at Shantae's Way, and I'll see you guys over there. But today I wanted to show you guys a very quick routine for when you're like me um, right now and you just don't feel like doing too much, um, but you still want to take care of your hair and, you know, make sure that your hair is growing um, and you're actually putting some type of effort into your hair routine. Hope you guys still enjoy this video and that it still helps you all. And I will be following up, um, just FYI, for those of you who are subscribed to my channel. By the way, if you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click the button down below and subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to like this video as well. Okay, so as as you guys can see, my hair right now is pretty wild. <laughs> I just got done actually washing my hair earlier today and I just threw it into two um, twists and I kept it moving because I don't have much to do today so or I didn't have much to do today. So this is what we're working with. So when you're starting with your night routine, make sure your, ha your hair is um, in a manageable state. What I mean by that is make sure that you don't have super tangled hair so that when you start your night routine, your hair can already kind of be prepped and it doesn't take as long to do. So as I let you guys know, you're going to need two products. So I have this product here, which I'm using. It's called the, um, the Innate. The Innate Life Herbal Hair Mask. Now this is a hair mask, but I do think that this hair mask um, is pretty thin and uh, I feel like that, you know, it can kind of be used as a conditioner. So I have it here. If you do not have the Innate Hair Mask, then you can use like a curling mi milk by uh, Shea Moisture. Um, I have this one here. The main star of the show here is the Growth Oil by Nourish by Shantae. This is my growth oil if you're new to this channel I have hair products and this is one of my hair products um, this is the growth oil it has about seven to eight oils in it and um, I have been using this for years and so have a lot of my subscribers as well um, so this is the main star of the show for your nighttime growth routine so you do want to have some type of oil if you don't um, so there is a lot of benefits to this oil there's a lot of different oils inside of this and mixed together and it just is a powerhouse and it just comes together very well definitely believes that oils are important to your hair routine um, as far as the actual conditioner that i'm recommending to you guys um, you do want to use a conditioner um, that is very good so this innate life has a lot of herbs in it it has a lot of organic um, oils in it and it also has a lot of organic flower essence in it which is like essential and also helps to keep your hair nice and strong and helps with any type of breakage or anything like that um if you are doing a growth routine and you're using really bad products um i just feel like that's a big no for me but there are some people who use certain products and they still see hair growth um, results but in my opinion you do want to get some pretty good products so that your hair can actually thrive especially if you're doing this routine every two nights or um, nightly you want to make sure that you're actually using products that can stay in your hair and not 
cause your hair to be dried out or to um, experience like really bad results just from you using like a crappy product that did not do their research before they made formulated their product and probably all right so i'm gonna go ahead and section my hair into four sections if you are wanting to do more sections you can but i feel as though four sections is probably the best way to go if you're trying to hairy up and get done okay so this section right here i'm gonna go ahead and spray this section with water just so i can like get the foundation by the way i don't have a lot of products in my hair i just have a leave-in conditioner and that's it this is the mask as you guys can see it's super runny which is why i said that it can be used as a regular conditioner so i'm gonna go ahead and put that on my hair all right so now i'm gonna take this brush here which is like a detangling brush um which is also on my website i'm gonna go ahead and brush my hair through just to make sure that i don't have any tangles and that the product is getting all the way through my hair all right so now i'm gonna go ahead and take this growth oil and i'm just gonna put that's on this section of my hair. I'm gonna go ahead and put that. And I'm also gonna get the ends of my hair since that is the oldest part of my hair. I wanna make sure that I get the ends. People forget about their ends all the time and it's just not good. So go ahead and make sure that you put the oil on your ends. As you guys can see, yeah, it's really important to get the ends of your hair because that, like I said, that is the oldest part of your hair. I'm also going to take the stimulating scalp oil and I'm going to put it actually on my scalp. So now that I have the oil on my scalp and also on the ends of my hair, I'm just going to take my hands. I'm going to run it down, make sure that oil is in there really good. And I'm also going to take the paddles of my fingers and I'm going to go ahead and massage my scalp a little bit. Massaging your scalp is so good. It actually helps a lot with hair growth. So once I go ahead and get finished with that, I'm just going to take my hair and I'm going to go ahead and twist it out of the way. Okay, so I have my twist here. All I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take some more of that oil um, because this is like good stuff. We gotta make sure we get it wet. I know, I know it seems like I'm using a lot of oil, but this is a very light oil. So um, it doesn't like weigh your hair down and make your hair super like disgusting like you would think an oil would do. My hair cannot take a lot. So if I can do this, on my hair then it's pretty light oil so i'm gonna take that and as you guys see i just pulled the oil down the shaft of my hair and then i put some more of the oil on my end so now i'm gonna go ahead and do this to the rest of my hair When choosing a conditioner, I always look for conditioners that contain a lot of herbal ingredients and also that have mostly organic ingredients. Wow, I love that conditioner. That conditioner is bomb. Look at my curls. I'm not even trying and the curls are just like forming. Beautiful. <laughs> Oh 
brushes, ladies. Clean your brushes. Clean it! I'm still leaving. Noriah wants to let you guys know to clean your brushes because it's unsanitary to not clean them. It's nasty. Took a little bit more time on the ends of my hair, made sure that I got the oil down there, made sure that I went through my massaging process, even though it probably looked super quick on the camera, because I'm due to editing, I can speed up everything. So now we're gonna go ahead and take this scarf and I'm going to put it on my head um, right now. I'm gonna put a little bit more of the oil <laughs> you actually do not need that much oil but as you guys see i be using a lot of that I, I use a lot so that's how i've always done it so i'm gonna take this my camera actually died apologize about that but i went ahead and put my scarf on um so that i can actually you know get ready for bed so that's pretty much my nighttime routine for hair growth um i do have other nighttime routines that i do for hair growth that are a lot more in depth and um can just be you know a complete nighttime routine <laughs> but this one was more of a simple straight to the point um type of routine these routines can be done weekly they can be done bi-weekly i would not suggest doing this actual routine daily just because um, i don't suggest putting conditioner on your hair daily um some people's hair can handle it but my hair personally cannot handle putting a conditioner on it every single day it just yeah but if you're using really good products you're not going to have to deal with any type of buildup but for me it starts to weigh my hair down um if you have thicker hair judge from there or if you have like a tighter hair uh, curl pattern you can definitely judge from there so i'm gonna go ahead and go because my camera literally keeps sh shutting off every single time so i'm gonna go ahead and go thank you guys so much for um your support and for sticking with me during this busy time for me um and during this time where i'm not able to be like as persistent as i have been over the years um but i still definitely want to thank you guys i still love you guys you guys are always here supporting me always here just being great people so make sure you stay tuned to my channel <laughs> and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well and yeah i feel like that's all i have to say but i may be missing something why did i do this <laughs> i may be missing something but i feel like that's all i have to say um i hope you guys enjoyed this hair nighttime routine and i will see you guys in my next one bye